This is Benjamin Davis with Cointelegraph's blockchain news update. This week we've seen a hack that went only for a Bitcoin, we've seen regulations in Russia and Morocco, and flying cars. Uber has announced that they have been hacked and the private information of over 57 million individuals was affected. Now the kicker is that this hack occurred back in 2016 and Uber paid $100,000 to keep it quiet. While having your personal information hacked is bad enough, there's also a risk to users with mobile wallet applications. The hackers could have hijacked the data and reset the phone and that would have given them access to those funds. We don't know who it is, but my bet it's a disgruntled taxi driver. You talking to me? A hacker has crippled the Sacramento transit system. And that right there sounds like a premise that Siri would give you if you ask her what she thinks the next Bruce Willis movie will be about. It's gone downhill. Until you add for a ransom of one Bitcoin. That's right. So these hackers attacked a transit system for a Bitcoin. So either they're really desperate to lease a moderately nice car or they've been listening to John McAfee, who has said that Bitcoin will eventually reach 500,000. I just hope that this doesn't find its way into movies. I love Bitcoin, I love cheesy thrillers. I just please don't put them together. Just don't be that guy, Hollywood. Don't be that guy. Flying f cars. One of the greatest issues facing the advancement of technology is a matter of reference. Technology is being adopted so much by younger generations and many of the people doing so many amazing things are quite young. Now this is wonderful, but a story that came out recently made me realize something. Flying cars are about to be a thing. That's right, flying cars. And I was so excited that I called my brother who's 18. I said, dude, they're gonna have flying cars just like in the fifth element. And he said, what the hell is the fifth element? And I had to hang up. And this, I fear, is going to be the greatest tragedy of the future. Kids will be getting all of this amazing technology without appreciating the movie references attached to them. Now, if you haven't seen The Fifth Element, go watch it. If you have, then get ready, because blockchain technology is about to make it more and more probable that we will be seeing flying cars in the next five years. Uber has gotten together with NASA to work on this reality. While the Bartini Project, the winners of Uber Elevate, are implementing blockchain for a concept of flying cars and China plans to start releasing them by 2019. Blockchain can connect everything that would be needed to ensure the whole process is quick, hassle-free, and safe by connecting the entire ecosystem of a car's life. Now, blockchain is changing the world and my only hope is that in flying car driver's ed they at least force them to watch the fifth element if only so they can appreciate the gift blockchain technology is about to give them or at least make them watch Blade Runner, the original. While Russia has been one of the more vocal and open countries in favor of blockchain technology, the head of Russia's Ministry of Communications announced that Bitcoin itself has no place in the Russia's economy. There is some speculation and debate over it, but it seems that all of the evidence is pointing away from it becoming the norm, even though Russia has said in the past that they had intentions to get into the Bitcoin mining game. Now, Russia has also come out against Bitcoin ATMs and claims that Bitcoin is considered as potential involvement in the implementation of questionable transactions in accordance with the legislation on combating the legalization of proceeds from crime and the financing of terrorism. With these two hard stances, it remains to be seen, or as is often the case with Russia and money, it remains to be a mystery for now, but at least we have the crypto ruble to look forward to. Four. In some news that sort of came out of nowhere, a hard fork occurred in Bitcoin's blockchain and created a new currency called Bitcoin Diamond. Now they were listed on this letter that we received from six months in the future, and it lists all these different currencies that are gonna try and profit off of Bitcoin's name. Others on those lists was Bitcoin Pearl, Bitcoin Fish Stakes, Bitcoin Oil, Bitcoin Unicorn Horn, and Bitcoin Galleon. Wait, seriously, how has no one created a crypto coin called Galleon? Anyway, in all seriousness, this is a thing. This coin is out, and there are some interesting things surrounding it. It was set in motion by three anonymous developers, two of whom refer to themselves as IY and 007. It does not even have a GitHub page. Barely any chatter about it is on Telegram. And it's not even listed on the coin market cap yet. And if you go to their website, you'll see 
kind of a weird disclaimer. I suggest checking it out. We'll leave a link down below. But I, you know, I guess this is just going to be a thing now. With Bitcoin becoming more mainstream and more widely accepted, there's going to be more and more people who are going to try and profit off of the Bitcoin name. But please, let's have a Harry Potter Bitcoin. I like that idea. This has been Benjamin Davis with our blockchain news update. If there are any new technologies you think are coming out that deserve movie references, let me know down below. I would love to see some new films. And don't forget to subscribe and visit us at Cointelegraph.com.